The Greatest Calls Bracket, talking again with Larry Colmus. He's NBC's announcer for the Triple Crown. He's been in that role since 2011. Larry, your call of American Pharoah winning the Triple Crown in 2015 is featured in the bracket. I know you've had to look to, at some of the matchups and some of the voices featured. You're up against Dick Enberg in round one. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But uh, first, let's uh, go watch your call. We'll watch the last minute or so, which is featured, and then we can discuss it and, uh, and go through what was in your mind in, uh, in that moment as American Pharoah snaps the 37-year Triple Crown drought. Let's take a look. And they're into the stretch, and American Pharaoh makes his run for glory as they come into the final furlong. Frosted is second with one eighth of a mile to go. American Pharaoh's got a two leg lead. Frosted is all out at the 16th pole. time there to think about what you're going to say because he does have a couple of lengths of of a lead and the emotions that are going through you as you're trying to form the words to capture the moment of course 37 years is in your mind affirmed in 1978 is in your mind we were talking about it 13 horses had won two legs to not finish off the triple crown from 1978 until 2015 how do you gather the words and how do you uh, build the call for that moment well, it's, it's something that I, I think when you're calling a moment of history and, and one of my colleagues and great friends and, and mentors, Tom Hammond, and I had this discussion uh, leading up to the, the Belmont that when there's a chance you're going to call a moment in history, you have to be ready. And uh, I thought of what I might want to say if he was able to give me the opportunity and, and American Pharaoh did. He, uh, he won so easily, I was able to come up with the thoughts that I had, uh, that everybody would be thinking the same thing. 37 year wait is over, finally the one. And, uh, you know, it, it just was uh, a thrill to be able to, to get those words out and, and not mess up history. As you're in that moment and you finish off the call and you're laying out, what's going through your head and, and the emotions involved? I know you've been around horse racing forever, but what, what are you thinking about knowing that, hey, I'm the one who got to call this moment. So many great announcers have come before you. Of course, Tom Durkin, he, he was close to calling one a bunch of times. What were your emotions like? Well, it, it was pretty crazy, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm as much of a fan of the sport as, as I am a broadcaster. And uh, I had been through all of those years waiting for a triple crown like everyone else. And uh, the fact that I was up in that booth at Belmont Park that day and and to be able to be the guy that narrated that Triple Crown was just a surreal moment. I, I remember as soon as the horses hit the wire, I uh, had cameras all around the booth. The uh, NBC had one, the, the track had one, the New York Times had one. And my first thought was, I got to get away from these cameras. And I ran into the corner where they couldn't get me, and I cried. I, I was just so overwhelmed with the moment. The one thing I don't remember doing and I saw later is I came charging out afterwards and started banging on the window uh, with, with just total glee and excitement and, and overwhelmed of, of what happened. Uh, and it, it had kicked in at that point. And I was like, oh, my God, I just called the first Triple Crown in 37 years. It was just a, an incredible moment. You're a, a historian as much as anybody in the kind of sport you do. It's a unique thing to call a horse race. It's much different than calling a basketball game, a baseball game, even calling golf or tennis, which is an individual sport. As you kind of look back on the sport and its history of announcing, I mentioned Tom Durkin. Chick Anderson's a guy who made the bracket to his call of secretariat in 1973. What, have, what are some of your favorite calls and some of your favorite announcers who have called horse races over the years? Tom Durkin had so many memorable calls uh, throughout the years. Uh, he was just uh, uh, in, a, in a, a league of his own, I think, for, for quite a long time. Uh, he was the announcer for NBC before me, and he also called for the New York tracks like I did after him. So I followed him twice, uh, which was not an easy thing to do. Dave Johnson, uh, down the stretch they come for ABC for years, uh, just an unbelievable race caller in, in his day, too. And, then, of course, you have Chick Anderson's 
famous call of Secretariat's Belmont. And to me, that's the, the most famous horse racing call of all time. Trevor Denman, the South African in, in Southern California, who's had so many fantastic calls at, at the tracks out there. There, there. There's so many talented guys uh, in our business. And, uh, you know, it, it's not easy. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a different sport to broadcast. It's kind of niche, I guess. And, uh, but at the same time, it's just uh, it's something that uh, takes a lot of short-term memory, for sure. Speaking of difficult, I'd say your first round matchup is a little bit difficult. I didn't give you any favors with, with your matchup there. Now, to be fair, there aren't many easy matchups. No walkovers in this bracket with, with some of the names. But you're up against Dick Enberg and his call of Joe Montana to John Taylor. I'm not sure if you've had a chance to look at the, the entire bracket. Any, any uh, matchups or anyone in there that stick out who you've had a relationship with over the years? Uh, there's, I mean, there's a few people. I mean, Mike Tarico and I have gotten to be really good friends now because he does our Triple Crown broadcast with NBC, and I saw his name on there quite a few times. So he, uh, he's one of the one of the all-time great guys around. Uh, so he and Tom Hammond, I, I notice he's on there, and he's just, again, he's a, a mentor for me. Uh, guys that I've never, you know, I've never met Al Michaels. I've always wanted to meet Al Michaels. Um, and uh, do you believe in miracles? Of course, is the is the all-time, you know, got to be the favorite, I think, to, yeah. to win this whole thing. Uh, you're you're the sure. horse racing guy. I think if we're handicapping it, that, that's a heavy favorite. <laughs> yeah, I got him as the favorite. Oh, the other guy that I, that I got to know very well is Bob Costas uh, from uh, our NBC broadcast. I see he's on there, too. I remember the first time I met him was in a, a meeting uh, before the Kentucky Derby, my first derby, and he, he walked in the uh, production meeting and walked right up to me. He says, I know everyone in this trailer except you. You must be Larry. And I said, yes, I am. Uh, and I missed the opportunity to say, and you are who? But uh, I couldn't <laughs> myself to do that. <laughs> well, Larry Colmus of NBC Sports, he calls the Triple Crown. He's been in that role since 2011. He's now called two Triple Crown wins, but his call of American Farrell winning in 2015 to snap the 37-year drought is featured in the bracket. Larry, can't thank you enough for the time. And of course, hope you and, uh, and the family and all those close to you are, are doing well and staying safe. Thanks very much. Same to you. And, uh, and thanks for uh, putting me in the bracket. I appreciate it. Of course. Best of luck against Dick Enberg in round one. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs>